I straight up just recorded a full intro and then hit the record button. That's the kind of content you'll get here. It, it just madness, alright? Just madness. Cute, but a little greasy. That's my life. So, hi, my name is Shanada and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video and I'm very excited because it is going to be reviewing and demoing the Colourpop Sailor Moon collection. By the way, if I have gloss on my teeth, just bypass that, please. So, I know there's a lot of craziness going on in the room today with coronavirus and my prayers and my thoughts are with everyone during this difficult time but please i just beg that everyone stay positive listen to the relevant authorities practice your, your hand washing as much as you can just abide by the guidelines and we will all get through this safely i contemplated starting this youtube video especially during this time but the way I saw it was that makeup is such an outlet for me. It allows me to express myself, it allows me to just escape whatever is going on around and just have fun. I hope that this video brings you some laughter, just some joy and some warmth. Maybe even convince you to get some new makeup. You know, I'm not an enabler. You see that from now. <laughs> but i just want you want to have a good time here and yeah let's just dive right into it so i went ahead and did my piece off camera because you know the focus of this video is this these babies here so i'm thinking we open up each product look at swatches and then you know see how they perform and at the end i give my review and thoughts on all of them and what i would and would not recommend so let's go i'm explaining the first thing in this collection is their eyeshadow palette and this is the unit curtain which has miss sailor moon herself on the cover and at the back you have the names of the eyeshadows as well as the ingredients so, I mean, this packaging, it wins. Like, look how cool, it's holographic. She looks perfect. But this is the actual eyeshadow component. And look how cool it is. Like, it's picture changing. I mean, I've never seen this on any type of makeup packaging. Like, last time I saw this, I was probably a kid, which is why I had to get this collection. It's so cute, it's so freaking gorgeous. And then when you open her up inside, Oops, that was the protective film, so it does come with that, which is good. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. So let me go back out a little bit so you'll see the actual colors of the eyeshadows. You have some nudes in there, you have your popped up color, then you have shimmers. It's a really, really pretty palette. So let's see how these swatches look. So these are all of the swatches here. As you can see, you have some very nudish pale shades, which would be very good in like the crease area. And then you have your like lots of colorful shades here, They're full of shimmer, which I don't mind, I actually love. This one here is like a press glitter. I mean, it's just so perfect, it's so pretty. It looked very pastel online, but it's not. And you can see I have very brown skin and this shows up so well. This shade was one swipe. This one, the second shade here, I did have to build up a bit. This one, I would have to say, is probably like my favorite shade in this palette. And I was so surprised. I thought it would like be very sheer, but it's not. It's really, really pigmented. This whole palette is gorgeous. So next two items in this collection are blushes and look at this packaging it has the same holographic moon it has the cats in the front and then at the back you have the name of each blush and the ingredients listed as well now the actual component for these blushes i think this is what drove everybody crazy like look look it's the same thing so i'll show you one so you don't get confused but look at it look at him there Aww. 
literally me and ashes <laughs> but it's so cute look at how cool i mean who wouldn't want this in their collection and i and i mean as you could see up there i collect a lot of unique makeup so i had to get this collection and i grew up watching sailor moon so it's so adorable so these are what both blushes look like side by side as you can see one is very matte which is this one here and this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it so i'm not really a fan of shimmer in my blushes but let's watch them and see how they look so here we have both blushes swatched and the first one here is the matte shade which is called from the moon and here is the second blush which has the shimmer in it and that is called cat's eye So next we have two body glitter gels. This is Colourpop's literally obsessed body glitter gels. And this is the unit pattern here. And the actual product looks like this. So you have this really purple, bluish, holographic situation going on here. And this is like just baby pink and just so... Oh. I don't want to say adorable again for it to kill me, but I mean, come on, look how gorgeous. So let's open them up. So they do come with this um, plastic protector here so that they don't dry out. And this is what it looks like. This one has like moons and stars, it's so pretty. And then this one here, again with the same little plastic protector. This one is just very iridescent. So let's watch them and see how they look. Yeah. Listen, y'all are ready for these swatches because I wasn't ready. Oh my goodness. So I dimmed the lights as much as I could so y'all could really see how gorgeous these body glitters are. I mean look at it. Look, 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 look at this. So this one here is called Moon Prism Power and the second one here is called Moonlight Power. This is the one here that has like the stars and the moon. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if my phone camera is picking it up. But this one is just straight up chunky glitter. But when I tell you reflective, this is so, so pretty. Like for carnival or even like any festival that you're going to. This is stunning. Last but not least, we have two lip bundles in this collection. They're called the Daylight Bundle and the Moonlight Bundle. So let's see those swatches. So this is the Daylight Bundle. So on this side, we have the Moonlight Lip Bundle, which contains an ultra blotted lip and another lip gloss. But on my skin tone, these two look the same, but they're really pretty pinks either way. So we'll see how they perform on my lip. So this those blue, it's pink. So those were all of these watches and I really enjoyed them. Let's try this eyeshadow palette. I don't know what look yet I want to do but I'm guessing very simple. I just thought I would mention the brushes that I'll be using today. It's from a local brand called Selfish Cosmetics. They're actually a makeup store and they came out with their own brushes. And they have like a face brush set as well, which I've, I haven't tried yet. But I swear by these eye brushes, like they're so good. I bought two sets already. And yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So the first shade I'll go in with is called Moon Castle which is like this kind of peachy brown color here yeah, i want to use this just like all over my lips and look at that just yeah you can see i barely touched this so let's go i'll be using my little ricky mirror to help me out here so let's see how this performs it's a nice transition shade it's really really pretty and 
so didn't think about the look before so we'll just see where it takes us no this is the first time i'm putting on eyeshadow since i had my eye allergy a couple weeks ago on this eye so being very careful and light handed with this one now that i have that shade like into my crease and a little above my crease now i want to go in with a deeper shade so i'm gonna go in with this color here which is called love and i'm gonna place that into my crease with a smaller fluffy brush and look at that color be off tell y'all color pop out here do anything you know oh lord Now this one does have shimmer in it, but I don't mind because as you blend, it just kind of disappears, it just kind of goes away, so it's not that bad. So I'm just keeping this right under that shade we placed before. It does have like some fallout like you could see it there but i know some people mind it i personally don't mind it like i would just and that's it it goes away so i just thought i would mention it so with all of that blending just now i felt like i lost some of the transition shade so i'm just gonna tap back and just go over it again slightly See now you have this really smooth transition from just like the dark into the lighter color. Just so now to darken up this outer corner here, I'm gonna dip into this shade and it's called Miracle Romance. What did you see? This is such a gorgeous color. Like, I just wish I could put this all over my lids. Wow, this is. <laughs> I did dim um, the lights a little bit on my phone camera so that you could actually see the color because if i left the brightness all the way up it just washes out how the eyeshadow really looks so if around me looks a little bit darker that's why but this is how the eyeshadow truly looks on my face well my eyes this way my brain sometimes so now i'm gonna dip into this yellow shade here called justice and I'm gonna place that in the inner part of my lid using the same brush, but I just turned it around. So let's see how this yellow performs because you know, yellow eyeshadow is like from hell sometimes. So let's pack it on. That did really well. Wow. Now I'm just gonna go back into purple color to just you know blend these two shades together so that they're not so harsh kind of like that so like there's just like a small transition right there i do have some fallout like right here let me see if i can pick it up like just right around here so just dust this away or you could put some translucent powder under there while you blend it and just wipe that away it should be fine it wouldn't be my video if i didn't throw on something right i want to put like a little brown bone highlighter and i'm feeling this shade here called silver millennium so you're gonna take it on a flat synthetic brush. Ooh, I 
think this is like this super shock formula because it's not coming up on the brush at all. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It's coming up a little bit, but it's like moving around in the pan a little bit. So I think, yeah, this is their putty formula. Not putty, sorry. Um, super shock shadow. That's pretty. Like you see how flat hair is and now hair looks like oh. Okay, so I think that is more or less it for my eyelid. So I'm just gonna pop some lashes on and I'll come back and we'll finish the bottom lash and get into the rest of the product. Okay, so we have lashes on. I use the Kenzie Beauty Glam set and I use the one at the bottom. For a fun pop of color in my waterline, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner and this is in the color Vivid. Yeah. bottom lash line to just like tie and just hold up together I'm gonna go in with this shade again here just like so Ooh, and now for the inside hair I want to go into this shade here, the shade that we have in the crease, but barely touch it because it's really pigmented. And just barely go over the purple. Ever so lightly go over the purple. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the next curvaceous mascara i love this mascara so much like on the days i'm not wearing makeup this is the only mascara i use and i need to see if they still have this in stock because i bought this a while ago just gonna make those bottom lashes pop and tie in my natural lashes with the falsies Okay, so now it's time to test out the blushes and I'm thinking for the matte one that put it here on my right side. So let's try it out. I'm going to adjust my angle blush brush. That's a lot. Wow. And I like to smile and pawn my blush. Oh my god, I think this is my new favorite blush. Mm, so pretty and matte. Oh my. Now for the other side, this is the shimmery blush. So let's try that. Yeah, there is some shimmer on this. So let's try it. Yeah, straight up shimmer in this. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like I had eyeshadow fall out. But it's not terrible. There is a lot of kickback in this one though. Oh but they and they do go away like wow. There is no shimmer on it now. But the brushes look almost the same. This one is definitely a little bit more pinky than this one. Like this is more muted. It's like more like of a baby pink. Whereas this one is it's a little deeper, which I don't mind. Like. So I definitely love both blushes. I honestly thought I wouldn't like it, but I think I put a little too much hair. So let me just fix that with my powder brush. So what do you think? Which blush is your favorite? 
Now this collection does not come with a highlight but I did pick up Colourpop Sister Brand Soul Body. I picked up their shimmering body powder. It's also for face um, in the shade Warm Gold and this is what the component actually looks like and it's a really nice rich I don't know just gold goodness look at that so I really want to try it take my real techniques highlight to the brush it's really a setting brush but I use it for highlight so just so I have that amount and Yeah, it smells like coconut. It just smells like coconut and vanilla. It smells so good. It smells very tropical. So I just want to put a little bit again because it's mine. So let me just. Oh lord. I mean, holy shit. I am a highlight hole. Let me warn you from now. This. All my tutorials, you will see a lot of highlight. I have nothing like subtle here with highlight. Highlight hole. Yeah. So let me just put this all over my body. Just put a little bit here, like the highlight here, because that's where light hits me. And just keep it full. Take my finger and put some on my dough. Snatch that nose. Okay, I definitely feel myself too much. Let me stop. Okay, so the last thing that we have to try are the lip bundles. This is the daylight bundle, and this is the moonlight bundle almost at midnight but it's moonlight bundle and i'm kind of feeling the daylight so let me try that so this is um their ultra blotted lip and this is in the shade usagi any friends fans here i remember the episode with unagi but it's not unagi it's this is usagi Anyway, shut up. It's a kind of how is it put? like a berry pink, but not too berry. But it's very sheer. I mean it's their blotted lips, so it's not like full pigment one swipe. You have to build it up if you want that. But I kinda like the um the kind of sheer look. So this is the ultra blotted lip after two layers. It's not my favorite formula from Colourpop, but it's not bad at the same time. Like if you don't like full pigments, you know, heavy lip, um, it's a very, very comfortable formula. It's, it's almost like you're wearing nothing, but it, it does have a little bit of tackiness to it when you do blotch your lip. So let me go in with the gloss now which looks like this is a peachy gloss and it has like gold shimmer in it so let's see it comes with a standard color one which is i think very similar to kylie's if not the same thing so let's see mm. it smells like cake great and i'm still hungry The gloss is surprisingly not taken away. It looks like I like that it's not sticky. Now that the gloss is over it. How do you feel about the lips? Like, hmm, does it go with the eye? Probably not. 
so I would go for something more nude. But for the sake of trying the collection, it's cute. I like the gloss more than the butter lip for sure. So now that we've tried everything, setting spray. So my Mari Badescu, I'm just gonna go in with that and just seal everything up. The final look. I really like how everything turned out. I do have my thoughts that I'll share at the end of the video. So I hope you guys like how this makeup look turned out. And let me know in the comments below which was your favorite part of this collection. And now I'll share my review. I almost forgot about the body glitter gels. <laughs> so um, they're not eye safe. You know these can damage your eyes and not to mention i have extremely sensitive eyes so i think i'll just put like a little bit just for the sake of trying it trying it out from the, from the collection just take like a little bit on a flat brush and get some little moons and stars up in the, and drop it on your vanity great okay a little bit on my brush and i'll just put it right here oh yo You're into that whole gorgeous branding, gorgeous packaging, just unique makeup. Get this into a collection because this, you're not gonna get it anywhere. I mean, the, where you gonna get that? Because when you call a pop, could do this thing. It's just gonna shoot your collection through the roof. If you are a makeup enthusiast, which I also am, and you're just looking to maybe cop one or two things from this collection that you know might really catch your attention. For me personally, the palette is a hell yes. It's a hell freaking yes. Like, look at these colors. This row here is probably my favorite. So I would highly recommend this. Second thing I would recommend, absolutely the blushes. My absolute favorite is the matte blush, which is what I'm wearing on this side right now. The lip bundles. I wouldn't say you need the two of them. You can do one because they're very, very same. At least on my skin tone, they look very similar. And I just feel like you could do with one, you know? So I wasn't too crazy about these, but as a makeup collector, look at this packaging. Of course, I am here for it. Literally obsessed. The blood, body, bloody. The body glitter gels. If you're a party girl, you need to go to Coachella or go Miami Carnival. You need to come Trinidad Carnival. Hello. You need these glitters. And even if you don't get this from this collection, just color pop. Literally obsessed. Body, body glitter gels. Should be like. A real game changer for you. I almost forgot this highlight. Hello. Yes, but I really, really love this. I'm so happy I got this. I mean, see the size of this. Look at the size of this. Yes, I still have the um, plastic opening mirror because it's new. But look at this. Oh, I can't get enough of this. I loved everything that I tried today. I have nothing negative to say, and that's really all I have to say about this collection. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please share this video with your friends, your family, just anyone who is looking to have some makeup fun. So please make sure to subscribe 
and leave me a comment below which was your favorite part of this collection and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!